looks like my TikTok career is already over thanks to John Donald J. Trump. That's okay, I only have a few videos on there. And um, hey, there's still YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, for still being YouTube. Thank you for having been my first outlet and remaining my top outlet on various channels I may add. But there's a reason for that because I have uh, different cell phones with different emails. I have one main account and that one you can follow. But I just want to make sure you guys don't think, you know, if it's me in the video, it's me speaking. You know, it doesn't matter what channel it's on. Share my videos, by the way. Share them. Because I want to make sure more and more people understand the revisions and what's going on with COVID-19. And again, this is not medical advice. Do not live your life in a different manner due to my videos. Do not take anything seriously. This is entertainment only. I guess I have to say this. All right, now back to the study. The revision, September 10th. The same study that I have been posting since May 3rd. And my first study was, my first post was 1 in 45 and so on and so on. I just want to read to you really quickly the parts that are important. We found slightly increased infection prevalence among non-O types. We knew that, right? That's been consistent. Blood type O, non-blood type O. Risk of intubation was decreased among A and increased among A, B and B types. Now that is a new one. And remember, I showed you also one, not just from New York Presbyterian, but from Boston. I showed you another study uh, that also questioned the original A hypothesis originated in China. You remember the study where it said A has an increased risk, O has a lowest risk. Well, now we are getting into the sphere of where we are seeing variation of data based on ABO blood types that needs to be significant, that needs to be held in the appropriate significance. However, the blood type O, well, okay, let me read on compared with blood type O, while risk of death was increased for type AB and decreased for types A and B. AB is showing up as very, uh, you, you heard what I said, right? First of all, uh, the risk of intubation was decreased among A and increased among AB and B types compared with type O. Now that is very significant for type A, for blood type A. So, you know, that's why we need peer reviews. That's why, you know, the original Chinese study may have had some flaws in it. We don't know, okay? I'm not going to interpret this any further. I'm gonna let this stand for those of you who, you know, are interested in this kind of stuff, this kind of scientific stuff, you know what I mean? Compared with type O, while risk of death was increased for type AB, that's significant. Wow, okay and decreased for types A and for blood type B, risk of death, okay? We estimate, this is both, we need to look more into it. Uh, we estimate, estimated Irish negative blood type to have a protective effect for all three outcomes. Risk of intubation, infection, and death three outcomes, infection, intubation, and death. A protective infect effect. So that means it may be less likely to be infected, intubation, and dying. Overall, the one thing that remains consistent more than anything is the data regarding Rh negative blood. All other 
Let this be a lesson to us, not to draw very fast conclusions, see the peer reviews, see related studies. And um, once again, this blog is about the RH negative blood factor, not so much the other ABO, the ABO types, the ABO blood group system. And uh, what we see, it remains. The estimated RH negative blood type to have a protective effect for all three outcomes. These three outcomes are infection, intubation, intubation, and death. And I thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my blog, and I will update you as soon as I have more.